behalf of the local indigenous youth caucus, I will deliver an intervention on the doctrine of discovery. But first, I want to remind everyone that this morning, the Global Indigenous Youth Caucus stood together peacefully to make visible the lack of full and effective participation at this year's permanent forum. As many of you can tell, not all of our youth are here as their credentials were revoked without warning and they were escorted off the property when individuals they were escorted off the property. When individuals in traditional Sami regalia tried to enter the UN grounds thereafter at the North Lawn building, they were denied entrance simply because of their appearance. Even our caucus chairs are denied entrance at this time. This is a prime example of the way the doctrine of discovery disrespects the original jurisdiction of indigenous peoples, traditional territory today. As previously addressed, the doctrine of discovery and domination is a perpetuation of global human rights violations that has yet to be properly recognized and remediated on the international stage. We additionally urge the forum and relevant actors to equally consider all indigenous nations and peoples when discussing do discovery doctrine. Borders of the states that divide indigenous lands, territories, communities, and nations were not established with free, prior, and informed consent. Such policies result in human rights violations of the families of indigenous youth. At this time, the Global Indigenous Youth Caucus wishes to acknowledge our elders, our ancestors, and all of their efforts to set the platform for our delegations today. We further wish to recognize our peers who cannot be here with us, the seven generations that will follow us, and all living beings in creation. The crux of the distinct rights of indigenous nations and peoples is the right to self-determination, which is subjugated under the social construction of superiority at the foundation of the doctrine of discovery. Conversely, our future depends on creativity and imagination for safeguarding self-determination combined with the right to free prior and informed consent and complete, inherent, and inalienable rights of indigenous nations and peoples, thus serving the purpose of benefiting future generations and the rights of Mother Earth. The Global <laughs> Indigenous Youth Caucus recommends that the United Nations fully recognize the criminality and dehumanization of the discovery doctrine of Christendom. Truth combined with reconciliation does not mean a thing without acknowledgement of the crimes committed. Here, conflict reduction and overall healing depend on the willingness of those who inherit the legacy of the crime, including the Pope, to fully confront denial of the doctrine of discovery and domination and embrace recommendations for healing the intentional goal of spiritual dispossession by the doctrine. The World Intellectual Property Organization fashions an extension of discovery doctrine that shifts focus from the mindset of the fraudulent 1823 United States Supreme Court case Johnson v. McIntosh to the corporate theft of the inner sanctums of life itself. The policies and language put forth by WIPO developed the continuation of the exploitation of cultural heritage through the market economy. We request that the mandate of WIPO is canceled altogether because we reject this present-day piracy organization. Biocolonialism is also facilitated through the Convention on Biological Diversity in conjunction with the World Trade Organization's TRIPS agreement. Consequently, discovery doctrine must be fully understood in the context of its utilization in the development of various stages of international law, definitions of sovereignty, and revoked from the current missions of global institutions. Moreover, indigenous nations serve equal Indigenous nations deserve equal standing with full veto rights on the international stage. Acknowledgement of the collective, inherent, and inalienable rights of indigenous nations and peoples based on self-determination must be articulated within international norms. Additionally, states must support the inclusive rights of indigenous nations and peoples to free prior and informed consent. Free prior and informed consent must be applied in its entirety every time indigenous nations and peoples are directly affected and subjected to proposals for development and commercialization by states and corporations. We remind the permanent forum 
that one of the obligations for signatories of the Convention on the Rights of the Child is to respect and understand indigenous nations and peoples. The central goal of this commitment is to fight prejudices and racism. Thus, states are obliged to teach citizens about the colonial history of the current state system. <coughs> Taking this framework into consideration, states ought to be obliged to have a curriculum that addresses the discovery doctrine and the establishing construct of colonialism and imperialism of the particular state. This discovery doctrine must be known as a conqueror-based doctrine similar to other racist notions, namely the National Socialism of World War II and also apartheid against colonized peoples, both previously addressed on the international stage. We additionally voice our significant concerns over state interpretations of the fundamental elements of the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Collectively, we reiterate the need for respect of the Declaration along with the necessity to educate our own youth and generations to come about the Discovery Doctrine, its legacy, and subsequent historical trauma. Indigenous languages are the most complex languages in the world, yet many of our languages are disappearing as a result of the legacy of the doctrine of discovery and domination. A strong, organized effort needs to be made to preserve and recover all of our indigenous languages so that future generations of indigenous nations and peoples can reestablish indigenous social structures and decision-making bodies and continue to safeguard the well-being, wisdom, and survival of Mother Earth. Thank you.